Well, hello again, everybody. Boyd back with you, and welcome to another project on the channel. We've got some more Space 1999. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Like I said, I'm on a little bit of a Space 1999 kick. We've got this cool little um, Moon Base Alpha model kit from MPC. This is the reissue that came out a few years ago. Uh, they, they made a couple small little improvements over the original kit, uh, but it's basically the same as it always was. It's got this vacuum-formed... Uh, moon landscape surface that you put everything on. You've got these little individual pieces of the moon base itself that go in place. On the outer edges here we've got some uh, eagle landing pads that we're working on. Uh, now my plan with this thing is I'm going to do some lighting on this you guys. I'm going to use the old paint and scrape method. Um, I'm going to light block these. Well, I actually already painted these. They've been painted uh, black on the outside and we're going to leave the, the clear uh, well the, the white styrene on the inside. I'm going to go around with a miniature pick and just pick a few spots on the outer edges here around different shapes and stuff to get some of that miniature um, window lighting that we saw in the classic shot from the show whenever they showed the moon base so that'll be pretty neat on the uh, over here I'm getting ready to do the uh, the eagle landing pads or launch pads and I'm going to be doing the same thing here we're going to put that you know those little ind individual pinpoints of light around the launch pad you get some miniature eagles that go on here they're really, really super tiny. I'm going to try to do the best I can as far as uh, bringing out some of the detail in them. But uh, it won't be uh, anything near the 22-inch eagle, so don't expect too much, you guys. I'll, I'll do my best. But um, this is going to be pretty cool. Now, what the plan is for this thing overall, you guys, is <clears throat> I might um, leave it this size. Now, it's exactly 17 by 17 inches square. And what I'm, what I'm working on is this is going to be a uh, display base for my my space 1999 collection basically and the plan is is that we're going to work on uh jerry at hda model works is helping me out with this we're going to make some little acrylic um you know arms that come off of this on one side will hold the stun gun the other side will be the com lock and then there's going to be a plan for something coming off the back i was originally going to get, going to go through the middle but i thought that would look bad we're going to have a some kind of a bracket that comes off the back here that'll actually hold the uh 22 inch eagle a little bit above this and then some space 1999 uh you know maybe some pictures around the perimeter with a with the the logo on the front or something but i wanted to have a kind of a you know not a super huge i didn't want to have all my stuff spread out as far as when i finally put it on all display and this will fit nicely on a shelf and uh everything will be all in one place kind of everything that's iconic from the original tv show so this is going to be a pretty cool idea and um It'll take a little while for it all to come together. Jerry's going to be doing some custom acrylic work for me and stuff like that. So don't expect to see this in the next week or something like that, you guys. It's going to take a little while. You know, everything that's going on is slowing everything down, too. And um, But this will be pretty cool. I'm going to take you through what I'm going to do to modify all this, to put my lighting in it. And I've got to set this up on some kind of a, a stable platform so our, our uh, vacuum form, really super thin stuff, doesn't keep... You know flexing and moving around I've got to go back and fix all these seams I'm gonna spruce up this landscape a little bit uh, add a little bit of plaster to it to make it a little bit more um, interesting and then I'm gonna put a little you know miniature rocks on it here and there which it's completely lacking you know and there's plenty of rocks on the moon so we'll kind of spruce it up a little bit and then it'll it'll be all about the uh, the painting and everything to make it look realistic but it should be pretty cool a lot of people bash this old kit, but I still think it's kind of neat. I've wanted to get one for a long time and just you know, finally decided to get around to it. So I'll be back, and we're going to take you over to the bench. We're going to be putting in some LEDs and do a little bit of scrape testing on these, see how they start lighting up. I'll be right back with that. Okay, well, we're back over at the bench here, and I, what I'm doing, you guys, is I'm working on um, just doing my little window scraping here on the sides. Now, these parts don't have any uh areas where there's specific windows that are supposed to be so i'm just kind of doing it at random and just making these little tiny slits i'm putting on my magnifying glasses just getting up to this really close just making a little sideways scrape here and there and then maybe a couple of uh, vertical ones every once in a while i've got it sitting on this little piece of white plastic here just to give me some reflection but i'll show you what i've got inside here i've just got a strip of uh regular white LED tape that so this will run on 9 volts and um, it's working out really really good I don't want these little lights in here these little 
you know, simulated windows to be like overpoweringly bright either. I just want them to be really subtle. And uh, when the lights are down just a tiny little bit in the room, it'll look really nice. Um, one thing I want to uh, uh, share with you guys about when you do this window or, you know, this paint scraping method, what's going to happen is when you first do it, the paint's still going to be soft, even if you wait a week um, for the paint to be dry. And um, you're going to get tiny little flaps of paint that come off and, you know, kind of hang around the edges of the scraping that you do. And you're going to be tempted to start picking at it to get rid of it because it really looks bad when you first do it. But don't worry about that. Just stop after you get your initial scraping done and uh, wait a couple of hours. And what will happen is that those little flaps of paint were actually will dry up um, because now they're out in the air and they're exposed on both sides or whatever. It can dry from the inside out. And then what you do is just come back with an old toothbrush, just like this, a really soft bristle toothbrush, and just lightly go over it. And magically, all that stuff will just fall right off, and you'll have these perfect little uh, scrape marks. But, you know, these are things that I learned by, by doing this. If you try to do it too soon, you're just going to smear the stuff around and everything. So just go in here and do your little scrape, then stop, wait a couple hours, come back and hit it with this. And you don't have to, you know, scrub on it really hard. Just gently go over it, and all that stuff will come right off, and everything will look a lot cleaner. Then, after all that's done, what you'll do is you'll come back and spray a clear coat over this. And what that'll do is that clear will actually sort of remelt the paint again a little bit and any of the little rough edges that are on there will kind of you know uh, smooth out and straighten out by themselves as and so you'll get you know a fairly clean uh, piece when you're done but uh, let me turn this on for you and I'm gonna block that little opening there these little tubes come off of this those will all get sealed up but hopefully you guys can see a concept of that how the lights are going to look and Again, they're just going to be really subtle. They're super tiny. But uh, once the whole thing is lit up, it's going to look really cool. And the, uh, you know, the, uh, it'll, it'll just make the whole thing look a lot more realistic and in scale and everything. So there you go with that, you guys. Over here, what I wound up doing is I just had some plaster on hand. So I just uh, put, oh, I'd say about a little less than a quarter of an inch thickness of plaster and poured it into this whole thing and it's curing up now um probably be dry by overnight and that's going to make a huge difference on this just you know starting to work with it um having it more stable and everything and hopefully it's going to smooth out some of the um uneven dipping surfaces that were on the top of this thing because the issue that i was going to have is when i started putting the little buildings on there you could see that where the vacuum form was a little wavy you're going to have these huge gaps in between some of the buildings and with lighting you can't have that because you're going to have all these you know light leaks coming out everywhere so um i'll be back in the next update to show you kind of how this turned out the good thing is, is if i don't like this and it didn't work it won't be hard to get it back out of there at all i can just break it apart and get it right out of there and we'll go with something else but this is going to be on top of another flat surface so these little spots that you see right here actually are flush with everything so this is all kind of going to be supported um, i'm going to have another substructure underneath of this that's when it eventually winds up on its you know main base that we're talking about and uh i'll have enough clearance to run all my wiring and everything through here for all the lighting and stuff so it's it i think it's going to work out pretty good it added a lot of weight to this that's for sure and it made it just a lot more solid but this has to be really really dry i tried to pick it up just gently a little while ago and it, it already made little cracks in there but i'll go ahead and patch all that up before i uh, finish it but i think this is going to work so come back again and revisit us for the next uh, video update and we'll see what's going on with this thing hopefully it all works out i'll see you guys next time and uh, until we do take care and happy modeling everyone